So today we're reviewing Wonder Woman 1984. Yes, so we just got back from seeing Wonder Woman 1984. Already saw a comment on the uh, story from Carno Fanboy that uh, you were excited for the review. But we, this is the first time we went to the theater to see a new release in a while. We saw Tenet, which was the first one we saw in a while. But uh, basically, we just got back from the theater. What are your overall thoughts of Wonder Woman 1984? Non-spoiler review. Uh, I mean, I think walking out of the theater, there were some things that I liked. Uh, it was definitely a, an okay movie to me. What didn't like blow me away, but it wasn't like a it wasn't a horrible movie to me either. There were some good things in it. It was definitely I think I think it was a pretty it was a pretty decent movie. Like I said, it wasn't a bad movie. I thought it was a uh, kind of like in between. Like I enjoyed some stuff about it. Uh, while at the same time, just it's, I'm not like blown away to where I'd want to watch this over and over and over again in theaters. Yeah. Like this is definitely a one view for me, uh, at least in in theaters setting. Uh, but yeah, I think I think it's a decent movie overall. Yeah, it's kind of my overall thoughts. It's kind of confusing. There's stuff I liked. There's I have positives and negatives. Some big positives, some big negatives. But overall, I I was entertained. I mean, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't entertained throughout this movie. There was only one moment where I was like, kind of the sigh, like okay, it's getting a little long. But honestly, I was pretty entertained throughout most of this movie. There's a lot to like about it. Yeah. And but there's a lot. I do not like, and I'll try to go over as much as I can in non-spoilers, but since it's an actual mo real movie review, what are your positives of the movie? I mean, obviously, I think I think the, 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 the obvious positives for me in this film have to be, I think, uh, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. She definitely owns that character, and she definitely is Wonder Woman to me. Uh, Steve Trevor does a great job, I guess... <laughs> Uh, Chris Pine does a great job as as Steve Trevor. He's a great he's a great character. He's a great actor, and literally every time he's on screen, uh, there's no no complaints about him. He just he he owns his, his role, and there's not there's just nothing negative about it. Even though he's not really a superhero, he's he's just uh, he's always great to have on screen. And those two definitely play play off each other pretty, pretty like very well. And uh, I, I think overall the entire cast did a great job. Like there really yeah. wasn't any annoying characters to me. As far as the main cast no. goes, like I'm not talking about the side characters and all that, no. but as far as the main leads, the villains, the the like the protagonists and those characters, I, th I thought they all did a good job. There were some pretty good special effects, some pretty cool scenes that they did, as well as one more positive I would say is just the story. There were some good story elements, while there was definitely some negative story elements as well. There was some pretty some emotional stuff that was involved yeah. in there, and uh, yes, yeah, so I, I thought there was I thought it was some pretty cool elements and dynamics as far as the storyline goes as well. Yeah, the positives, I definitely agree that uh, Wonder Woman, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman was really good. Once again, thought she was really good in the first one. And Steve Trevor, yeah, they, those, they are really good. They're really good in the movie, and that definitely works. Basically all of that. I can't picture anyone else being Wonder Woman. And the villain was really good. There were multiple villains. Yeah. They were really good. I mean, well, one of them in particular was awesome. This guy right here. His, his real name is Pedro Pascal, and his... Uh, character name in the movie is maxwell or, or maxwell yeah. lord yeah mr lord yeah max he, lord he's he's really good he was really good he owns the movie. character he you can yeah. tell he, he honestly out of all the people i think he definitely invested more his, his most of it's just like he he realized what his character was and he went above and beyond yeah. and uh if it wasn't for him selling it the way he did that, that character might have came off as a really flat like just terrible terrible actor or terrible uh, character in the film but he owns it and does a great job with it. And there's some amazing boss scenes with him in this film. Yeah. Now he has some great, awesome scenes. He has some really funny scenes. The comedy is definitely a positive. Yeah. The comedy is really part. good. There's some great comedic scenes. Uh, there's great storylines, like you mentioned. There's some really emotional scenes and great emotion in this movie that's, I think, mainly proven through the main actors in this movie. Yeah. And they really do do a good job. There's some scenes that were really sad and really worked. Mm -hmm. And I was surprised by how well it worked. Yeah. And that's definitely a big positive. And there's a lot of stuff I can't say in spoilers, but yeah. why don't we just go to our negatives without spoiling anything? Uh, I, I think negatives for me would just have to be, like I said, the storyline, I said there were some good there were some good parts to the storyline that I liked a lot, but there were some uh, ridiculous storyline uh, points as well that just, to me, took me out of the film a little bit by the end where I was just like, there was so much going on. I was a little bit, I was a little bit just kind of taken aback and just like, there was just there was just a lot going on. I was trying to figure out like what was yeah. going on. I was still I, there was there was one thing I could not even explain what was happening at the end. I, I got some I got that for the most yeah. part what, what was going on, but that I think that was a negative for me is just how much stuff was going on, and also I think the lack of action was a ma major negative for me as well, because like I said the characters do a great job and the actors do a great job with their roles, but in a movie like this you'd expect to see more 
uh, just like the, like the like obviously it's, it's, it's a movie that, that that you would compare to the the original or like the it's like this is a sequel to Wonder Woman from twenty seventeen, and comparing it to that there, there's it's like night and day as far as action goes and how many action scenes there were like there were some standout action scenes in that first one it was a lot of just not not many fight scenes like action lack of action and the lack of I feel like villain on Wonder Woman's level was also a negative yeah. for me because well, we'll get into yeah, spoilers yeah. on that but uh, yeah I I think overall I think it was just the some of the storyline point I, overall with the what was going on with with the storyline which is hard to say without spoiling and just the lack of action i think for me and uh kind of like under underlying messages as well that you've heard us complain about in captain marvel uh birds of prey stuff like that which i, I will say it wasn't as bad as other ones in the past there were some moments that was really stupid that we'll double talk about probably the spoilers a little bit but uh i thought they did i thought they did a better job and i say better like that's comparing it to some of the worst of the worst yeah uh messages during movies but it was still there, which is just frustrating, but it wasn't as egregious as some of the ones in the past. Yeah, that's true. That That is a good point, is that the movie the movie wasn't compromised. The story wasn't compromised by the stupid stuff they no. did. And that's the main thing. I'm comparing it with Captain Marvel again, because you guys and know. Birds you guys know how, yeah, and Birds Well, more so Captain Marvel, yeah. still a lot so Birds of Prey, in particular, where the certain storylines, like the man bad thing, just oh, ruins everything. And there's just nothing redeemable. This movie, there's so much good about yeah. it. There's just little things throughout that, like I said, like I can literally pick them out. If, if you had the movie on a sleeve right there, it's like, okay, take that out, take that out, take this out. Just, just literally take these things out and it just makes it so much better. So many dumb little things mm -hmm. that I would talk about in spoilers, I guess, even though it's really not a spoiler to say. I expect, I literally expected it, so it didn't hit as hard as Captain Marvel, exactly. but yeah. I expected some of this stuff straight up, but some of the stuff is just annoying in that aspect. The story wasn't compromised, though, so that's why it didn't bother me as much. But why, why don't we go into our scores, scores, then we can get into spoilers. Well, stuff. once again, I know it's kind of confusing for you guys because uh, our scoring ratings are a little bit different. I mean, I mean, going back and forth, I've been mean, going back and forth between a few numbers, and I feel like I'm going to end up... I've been going up a little bit more and more as I think about the positives, and there were some good stuff in here, and uh, I was entertained. There was never, I was never bored of the film, yeah. so I feel like I, I'm gonna have to. This I could, I, this could be amended a little bit in the future. Like the more I think about it, we just saw it, but as of right now, at this very moment, I would have to give Wonder Woman 1984 a 6.5 out of 10 because to me, like I said, it's eight above out, average. Eight, yeah, it's a, it's, above, it's definitely above average, and anything eight and above is to me is a movie that I would go back and see over and over again. And it has like that awesome, uh, just uh, just. I, I would give my appro approval to the film to like go see it to see sure, it over again. Approval. So eight, eight and above, and then seven is kind of like there were some really redeeming things in it, but it was like an okay movie. But it's it's, it's on the edge of that type of uh, rating because of like I said the lack of action and other things like that. But because of the acting and the, and the comedy and some very emotional scenes, I have to give this film a six point five out of ten. And I'm leaning towards maybe a seven, but for now I'm sticking with a six point five out of ten. I'm, yeah, I'm definitely going up the more I'm thinking about it. My rating is a six point five out of ten. Yeah, my grade, I'd have to give it an 8 out of 10, because, in which, for me, that's a 8 out of 10 out of 10, so a B. I mean, which is, you, you passed, okay? You you passed. So, it's like, okay, we're fine, but let's do better next time. That's basically what it means. Because this movie, there's some great stuff about it, but there's some stuff that just weighs it down. Like, I swear, the last hour of this movie had the right idea, and the stupid little crap was just in the first two-thirds that, like, just of ridiculous stuff that's just so dumb and just kind of disgusting honestly in my opinion that is what brings it down but there's a lot of great stuff there's a great action scene with a, a car chase there's great storylines the emotion work the comedy was good but that stupid crap i'm going to talk about in spoilers is what really brings it down and there wasn't a lot of action like you said mm -hmm. so eight out of ten for me so an eight, you, so kenny gives an eight out of ten and i give it a 6.5 out of ten but for me guys like i said it's above average it's just not a movie that i would go to see over and over again and uh like i said because of just the over uh, really confusing, just stuff going on at the end, mixed with just the, the lack of action uh, and the underlying stuff. Yeah, uh, that's why it's had a six point five. But still, I, I I enjoyed the film. I I definitely enjoyed it a little bit. And uh, like I said, it's not blown away. But like I said, it's it's still a good viewing. I definitely would say check it out if you like DC movies. We're into spoilers though to yeah. uh, really expand. But anyways, though, we'll talk more about it in the spoilers. So hope to see you there. But if not, uh, thanks for watching our non spoiler review of Wonder Woman nineteen eighty four. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next video. Bye, guys.